parents. Some of us love them. Some of us cannot stand the sight of them. Some of us love them, but we do not want to deal with them. Some look after them, but stay far away from them. Some of us miss them. Some of us never really got the chance to know them. Some of us had one but not the other in our lives. I'm Munib Ali from the Quran Study Channel and I want to dedicate this week's video to parents. If you are following our channel, you will have seen that we have done a number of videos recently discussing the Quran and the importance of studying and understanding the Quran and then following it. We've done videos about the need to study the Quran. We have discussed why a number of Muslims do not study the Quran in detail. And then also recently we've done videos about how to apply the Quran in our day-to-day -day lives. So we've spoken about sectarianism. We've spoken about the rope of Allah and how that should define how we lead our lives. Recently we did one about the misconceptions about Islam and most recently we've explained what the Quran says about how we should behave with non-Muslims. And today's video is also about a very important point of application of Quranic learning and that is about parents and the duty that we have towards our parents. And I want to show you what the Quran says about the regard with which we should hold parents and the rights of parents within the Islamic system. There is so much to learn from the Quran about this important topic. So I'm going to do this in two parts and this is part one. Apart from learning ourselves about what the Quran says on this, it's really important that our next generation, our kids, understand this. So please, Share this video with all the parents that you know and also all the children that you know so they can benefit from this education from the Quran. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our Quran study channel on YouTube so you can see next week's video, which is part two, and all our other videos which help us to understand how to apply the Quran in our day-to-day -day lives. I'll be putting these videos up every week. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get started. Today, we will mainly look at just one verse. This is chapter called Al-Isra, which is chapter 17. And we will look at verse 23. And let me read the translation of this. And your Lord has decreed that you submit to none but him and to parents do good. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them often, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. So the first thing we can take from this, from the first part of this verse, is that when we submit fully to our Lord, to Allah, when we testify that we are following His directions, instructions and guidance, which are of course contained within the Quran, that includes doing good to our parents. Doing good to our parents is part of our submission, our ibadah to Allah. Now the second thing in this, and this is the bit I really want to focus on in today's video. And this is where Allah says in the Quran, Wabil walidaini ihsanan. This word ihsanan, doing ihsan on our parents. What does that mean? I said in the simplest translation, do good to your parents, but there is a lot more meaning to this and that's what I want to go through today. Just that one part of the verse. So the three root letters of the word ihsanan are ha, seen, noon. And there are three categories of meaning of these three root letters which carries forward into this word ihsanan. The first category is about doing good. It's about acting well, acting or behaving with goodness or in a pleasing manner towards a person. So what does that mean for us in terms of applying that in practice? It means we have to be nice 
kind, gentle, understanding, helpful towards our parents. This is a command from Allah. But the second category of meaning of this, and this is the one which many people do not understand and think about how to apply it, but we want to go through that today. The second category of meaning is to make good any deficiencies, to give proportion and balance to something. So what Allah is telling us here by using this word Ihsanan as it relates to parents is that as they get old and naturally their capabilities decline you know their faculties like eyesight, hearing, memory all of these things naturally get weaker and that puts our parents in a vulnerable position their physical and mental health declines what the word Ihsanan means is that we have to cover for these deficiencies for our parents. It is not just about being good to them. We have to use our capabilities and that means our wealth but also our physical attributes to help them to cover for their deficiencies. If they are unable to hear properly, we have to hear for them. If they cannot see something properly, we have to see for them. If they cannot remember something, we have to remember things for them. That is what Allah is telling us by this word Ihsanan. We personally have to assist them, bring balance to their capabilities. And the third category of the meaning of these three root letters is to return something, to give back something or to somebody. And I will explain that particular meaning in the next video, in part two. Okay, I hope that is clear for you what it means when Allah says, Wabil walidaini ihsanan. And then it says, Say not to them uffin. What does that mean? Okay, so the root letters of the word uffin is alif, fa, fa. And this is an expression of disgust. When people deem something troublesome or displeasing or even hateful. So what Allah is telling us here in the Quran in this verse is that when we speak to our parents, we should not show any form of disrespect or any form or hint of disgust. It should not feel to them that they are a burden on us. Okay, and then Allah says, do not repel them. Do not push them away. Allah knows that for us, when our parents get old, there can be an inclination on us to focus entirely on our own lives and push away our parents. But Allah is saying, no, don't push them away. Do not repel them. Stay close to them. So this one verse is telling us so much. We can quite easily read this verse and move on, but we're pondering today. And that is how you have to study the Quran. What are the three things we can take away from this verse? What we have learned today is that first of all, submission to Allah includes doing good to our parents. Secondly, doing good to parents means of course being good and kind and gentle etc. But importantly, it means covering for their deficiencies, using all of our capabilities to cover for the fact that they have difficulties as they get older. And the third thing is that we should not express any form of disrespect or disgust to them. Now, brothers and sisters, there is so much more that Allah says in the Quran about parents. And this is so important for us to understand. So I will leave it there for now. In part two, I will go through some other instructions in the Quran about parents and you'll be surprised that despite this level of respect that Allah has commanded us to have for our parents there are some situations where actually Allah has commanded us not to listen to our parents I'm sure you're going to find that very interesting so please do subscribe to our channel and come back next week to watch part two and to see all the videos that we are posting about the Quran and how to apply the Quran in our daily lives which we are uploading on a weekly basis. And please, as I said at the beginning of the video, 
please do share this video particularly with the younger generation they really must understand what Allah is saying on this topic in the Quran let me know in the comment section what you thought about today's study I will see you next week Assalamu alaikum أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ